Hello my little munchkins. Here is my first video to art style journey. And I decided to draw in Pokemon style. This is really nostalgic for me. I used to draw in this style a lot when I was younger, when Pokemon the anime came out. And I simply enjoyed drawing it. It's because the style is not so complicated. Sure, the hair is wacky, but the clothes were never some like with a lot of details, and you can see like um, the hands and feet don't require like when you watch certain ad other animes like I don't know Dragon Ball Z or something, you can see like uh, the hands and the muscles and everything, and you don't have a lot of that in. Pokemon, especially in the first generation or in the first season of Pokemon the anime. So yeah, I decided to go with this. The memories, the nostalgia is real and I absolutely am so happy drawing this. <laughs> I know that right now what you see, the pose looks ridiculous. I, I just really didn't know what to draw my avatar as, in what pose. And let's just go with this. So since I didn't draw Pokemon in such a long time, um, I'm going to cheat here. But I promise I will not cheat in the future. I want to get back at the drawing. So, what's I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture from one of my favorite Pokemon and make a team actually, draw a team um, of six Pokemon that I like and I'm basically going to copy paste a picture and then line out their silhouettes. I know, I'm supposed to get better at drawing but I'm cheating already. <laughs> but this is a challenge for me. I know that I will get better because I will push myself to get better. Also, drawing Pokemon is something that also saw many people do like they they take one pokemon from a different type or a different generation and then they fuse it with a different pokemon right and they create something amazing like let's say they take a water type from a third gen and a ghost type from the seventh gen and they fuse it together and they get it, I, the art style that i saw is absolutely it, it's amazing beautiful and some are just creepy and funny. You have so many uh, different ideas of what you can. Or I also did see like Fakemon, where people create their own type of Pokemon. Kind of want to try that as well. I think drawing Pokemon is it's also a fun way before you start drawing, like taking serious to draw animals, maybe. <laughs> so I'm going for that. Since we are talking about Pokemon, let's talk about games. The first ever game that I played was on Game Boy and it was Pokemon Blue. And that game belonged to my best friend back in the day. Um, it was really fun to play the game and while I was also watching the series. And the last time I actually played a Pokemon game was Leaf Green. I was trying to play it in Nuzlocke rules. And let's just say it went horribly bad. Um, my starter was a Charmander and all I got was flying types and bug types and the first gym was rock type so you can imagine how that went. <laughs> uh, yeah I didn't make it so and that was fun. <laughs> but I really like this uh, uh, Nuzlocke rule. I think it's really challenging. Also you can have the, the Pokemon that you really like or, or you are your favorites. You like. You know, you, this is what you got, this is what you have. And I think that that's really... It's great. When I, uh, so let's talk a little bit about the anime. Um, I love the first season. And that is the one that I watched from the beginning till the end. The second one, I'm not that much. I don't know, I kind of... Uh, I guess I was so connected with Brooke and Misty being there. Once they left, I kind of didn't exactly accept the new people in. So yeah, the first generation is my favorite. I, If you ask me which are my favorite types of Pokemon, I would say water type, right? And that's all because of Misty. Misty's love for water type Pokemon made me love water type Pokemon. And let's just say, the first. Uh, since we're talking about the first gen or the first season, it has 
really awesome water type Pokemon. I mean, we have Tentacruel, we have Gyarados, we have a great starter like Squirtle. Also, I, was, uh, also I am drawing one of my favorite water type Pokemon here. Um, and yes, I'm not drawing it in that evolution, but yeah, I think it's Kindra. Because I'm drawing the first season, I go for this one. Uh, my second favorite types would be, of course, ghost types. I find them fascinating. Kind of a sad that in first season we only have three ghosts, even those are just evolutions of Ghastly. But now we have a lot. We have so many great looking and creepy looking. Oh, actually, creepy looking not so much. When I played the Pokemon game, I never really was reading the Pokedex, what it says about the Pokemon, until the third generation. Oh my god. As a kid, I kind of really wished for Pokemon to be real, but after <laughs> reading a couple of um, Poke uh, Pokedex entries, no, I don't want them to be real. No way. That's like living in a horror movie. Like, no, no. And uh, have you ever seen art style where people draw Pokemon to be more realistic? Hell no! Even more, I don't want them to be real. Holy sh**! <laughs> okay, enough about games and anime, let's talk about me drawing, right? When it comes to drawing, I really have problems, especially... Um, okay, let's ignore the part of where I'm cheating drawing Pokemon, but drawing uh, as humans. Fingers and poses are usually my biggest problem, problem to draw. And I found out that many people have exactly that type of a problem. My second problem is... When I finish the picture, like now, it looks great, but I have zero idea or inspiration of making backgrounds. What am I going to do for a background? But since uh, here, I'm going to make it very simple, because me and the Pokemon that I draw here are already taking a lot of space, basically the entire canvas, so I'm just going to make a background very simple. But, yeah, I think this is it. I really enjoy uh, drawing again, especially drawing what I used to draw in, in what style, in, in this style, and it brings back a lot of memories. So if you guys want to get back at drawing as well, why not draw your favorite Pokemon team? Why not? Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of me drawing in Pokemon style. Even though, yeah, I did cheat, but I promise I will not. Actually, I'm promising to myself that I will not cheat in the future because I do have ideas. Thank you again for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!